Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are continuing on with our Grumblindle campaign. And, um, uh, Eshin is mostly dead, but I, I don't know where they are. I don't know who's left. Maybe here. Maybe. Hard to tell. A lot of vampiric corruption. Because, you know, the gashes are. But other than that, I have no idea. I have no idea where they could be. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm a bit confused, all things considered. Clan Eshin are here. But other than that, I mean, not here. Not over here anymore. See? See? Not over here either. It's very odd. It's very odd. Hmm. Maybe here. This is all chaos corruption. So again, it doesn't quite seem right. Right? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. So anyway, uh, things are looking terrible up here. I mean, I say terrible. I mean, like, the worst. Like, we're all going to die. Everyone's going to die. These guys, they're all going to die. Everyone's going to die. It's looking really bad. Um, these, are, these are too many. There are too many of everything. It's really bad. Uh, but we do have very good cannons on these. On these, we do have, because uh, it's a level 5 settlement, um, with uh, top tier walls. So we've got improved uh, projectiles there, fused beer kegs. So it should do well. should do well there. Organ guns as well. You know, iron breakers, slayers, iron drakes, thunderers. Like, we got, we got tools, for sure. And then a billion miners, hopefully, um, before they attack. Hopefully. And um, we need more money, don't we? Yeah. Let's go with all the income buildings. Cool. Also... Thorgrim, pretty well kitted out. Pretty well kitted out. But miles away from anywhere. Ugh. Anyway, I do actually want to fight um, vampire counts. I did mention that in the last episode. I'm not sure if that's possible, depending on what happens here. So we have one more turn of recruitment, right? We got, yep, one more turn before they're done. And I'm going to decide whether to go left or right, basically. I may need to come up this way, because if, if these guys attack like, next turn, and do a ludicrous amount of damage, then, um, yeah, the, the Chaos Invasion is just going to keep heading this way, and it's going to destroy everything. It's going to be really bad. Oh my god, that doesn't even have walls yet. Oh. Oh, fiddle sticks. Oh, the fiddliest of sticks. No, not you. This one. Thanks. Nope. There. Boom. I mean, it might hold them off. We'll find out. We'll find out, guys. Uh, right, yes. And um, Grombrindle's done. He's waiting to move in. And uh, Black Crag also exists. And there's a Thorgrim. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. This army. This many, many armies. I'm just so glad that those guys aren't allied. If they were, we'd be doomed. Oh, Snitch's back. Snitch's back. I bet he's going to recruit a bunch of slaves and then flee from me for the next eight years. I have Voltmar this time. Voltmar's coming, taking Grunberg back. It's nice to see, you know, it's nice to see the Empire have more than one territory in the Reichland for once. Oh, look, Ekron's been taken. So, Black Crag is down to one settlement. And it's the one that Grombrindle's heading towards. So, that's great. Okay, now this is tricky because there's like a billion armies here that look like. Um, I don't know. Oh my god, no one's been taken as well. Jeez. Okay, yeah, Empire needs help. I think I think we have to declare war on the Vampire Counts. Even if it means we lose a bunch of territory, we cannot let them do this any longer. Although, check this out. It looks like these guys are at war with uh, Clan Mulder. Ooh. That might be good. Oh, they can reach it this turn. Okay, that sucks. Favor, I didn't get the miners. The hey, mate. Please. Yeah, non-aggression pact. I'm totally fine with that, actually. I wasn't, but now I am. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. I cannot afford to declare, like, to have any fights with any Lisbon in the south, even though... I'm a little on the fence about them existing, and, you know, owning half of the territory that should belong to the Demos Kron. But yeah, we've got to help our human allies here. This is getting silly. Wolfram Hertwig, please just take something. Anything. Just take Fort Oberstar, for God's sake. Just do something. Because this is awful. Look at you. 
Look at the attrition. Oh, war hard cows coming in this way. Good. Sort of. Hard to tell. Uh, recruiting surplus sounds wild. Let's do that. And okay, we've done the quest. The engineering, the engineers guild is in uproar. The master engineer tasked with developing the plans has presented his initial prototypes, together with a proposal to roll the improvements out within a matter of months. This unseeming, uh, this unseemly haste of this time frame has polarized opinion between the younger members. Uneasy and with such novel thinking, yet intrigued by the possibilities it presents, and the traditionalists who advocate the more usual decades of testing and would have the trial and error charlatan tinkerer thrown out in disgrace. Hearing the outcry, the High King steps in and orders that the prototype be put into full production. Early test flights of the gyrocopters have been fruitful. The machines have shown that they are ready to be deployed against the enemy. In addition, during long-range testing to verify operational ranges, the test pilots observed a large gathering of greenskins around a location in the Badlands known as the Pillar of Bone. Thorgrim dispatches our ranger to gather more detailed intelligence from the area. What kind of novel is this quest existed before rangers were a playable unit? Hmm. Anyway, Karakazgal. Wants me to go to Karakazgal. Hmm. Oh, also got to defeat this guy. Of course I do. Ostland has been destroyed, and Clan Eshin has been destroyed. So apparently, that one army was all that was left, and uh, I think Karakazul may have taken them out. But that is a huge relief. So, we're taking this. And uh, it doesn't really matter that we lost a bunch of men. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, obstinacy sounds like a good plan to me. Oh, stand your ground first. Then obstinacy. Brilliant. Uh, so, this can get upgraded. So, it really is just the, the corruption that is going to be a problem. So, what I might do is actually just get a lord here, just a single lord, and just cover him in um, uh, things that are going to reduce... Actually, construction costs of buildings as well help it get on its feet. Um, but no, no, I want to give him something that'll remove... Okay, yeah, there's there's none here. Okay, fine. Fine. It's just going to be this guy. Morik Finson. Morik Finson can do it. Yeah, I just want to remove... Um, like, have extra tainted, basically. Or, you know, removing corruption stuff. But we'll do this guy. Uh, so, corruption, corruption, corruption. Uh, Teller of Tales. Is that really it? <laughs> I think that might be it. Aw. Well, that's annoying. Uh, although, income for trade faction wide. May as well equip that. Um, I don't know. Let's just equip a bunch of random things. Uh, all right, that'll do. Anything else? Don't think so. Nah. All right. So you can loiter there, yes. and uh, Stopchul can move on to um, Nagashizar in a minute. Good stuff. Right. Yes. So there's another uh, beastman army kicking around, which will probably attack me at some point and uh, make me uh, scream. But I'm going to hope that it doesn't come to that. There he is. There, there's the little sod. Oh yeah, and I got rid of that army. I was about to send that army down here to go deal with him. Uh, using beast paths, but I think we're okay. God, those weird, like, pods. So creepy. What are they? What's in them? I don't even know. Anyway, you get over here. Lovely. Okay. Brag the bag? Oh, we can upgrade the drinking hall. I, mean, I can't not upgrade the drinking hall. It's going to give me access to Bugmans. And I want Bugmans rangers. Rangers that regenerate? Yes, please. Uh, so. I'm thinking, if I attack this now, would that be a good idea? And the answer is, maybe. I mean, the wolves would be nice, but it means I wouldn't be fighting that and this stack. But... Oh, God. And all these are going to attack me next as well. There's so many agents and mortars and oh, hell pits. And, oh. Yeah, this is going to be real rough. 
God. If only if only I was able to take on those couple of armies one at a time with Thorgrim, rather than having to fight both of them at once in an ambush. If only. If only. Uh, right, what else do I want here? What else do I want? Because I'm not going to be able to get the agent in this army. So I'm thinking I might as well recruit something else. A couple long beards. That'll do it. That'll be a pretty tasty army, I think. Pretty tasty army. Because we can't get the PK guard. So, you know. You know what? Oh, see, I just don't know. I don't know how well this is going to go, you see. But I mean... I imagine these army... Mm, I don't know. Like, these are crazy good units. You know, to have, like, full stacks of. So I don't think we'll be able to defeat all of those Skaven once we've defeated the Chaos armies. Because I think we can deal with the Chaos armies. I think we can. But I think the Skaven are going to be too much. So I think we might need Thorgrim up here, you know. But we also need to save our, our other friends here. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. I never used... I, like, this is what's beautiful about uh, Proving Grounds. I actually have to think. I like being under this pressure. I know it doesn't sound like it, but... This pressure is like... It keeps it interesting. Um, you know, it keeps it fresh. It's a lot harder to get swept up in the sort of power fantasy of the whole thing, but... That's a good thing, you know? I don't want it to be easy forever. So, I'm going to move him up this way. I'm going to move him up this way. Because Essen, Mordheim, you know, Nagenhof, all these should be ripe for the taking while these guys are loitering up here. So, I'm going to start making my way up there. And attacking everything I can. So, I attack Karakdroma first, I think. Um, I don't know if I should raise it or just sack it. But... He needs to... Oh, I can't, because I'm not at war with him yet. Okay, do I declare war now so I can tell him to attack? Uh, I think I probably should. Oh, he's coming in too. Problems. Alright, we're declaring war. We're declaring war. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, well, Karak Kadrin and Zafbar are already at war with them. Barak Var isn't. Uh, Barak Var can actually muster quite a lot of forces, you know. He could muster quite a lot, I reckon. He could certainly help. He could certainly help. So let's do it. Excellent. Now, Barak Var, you go try and take Averheim over and over and over and over and over again and never stop attacking Averheim. Thanks. Thank you. Um, Zufbar. You attack Karagdroma. I'm going to hop over, sack it, and then move on, I think. What's vampiric corruption? Untainted at 67, so I shouldn't suffer um, attrition. Well, I won't suffer attrition when I'm in the underway anyway. Um, actually, if I sack it, it'll still be vampire territory. So even if the, I think even if corruption is low, if they own the province, you still suffer corruption. I'm pretty sure. So I will still be suffering corruption, which sucks a bit. I don't think this guy's ever going to get in here, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Do I want to upgrade any of these while I have the money? Yeah, probably should. Probably should. Yeah, that guy's going to be a pain, I think. I probably shouldn't have declared war on him. But I didn't want them just sat there, adding to the corruption, you know? A big old army. Just a shame we couldn't catch that guy out. But that's okay. Alright, let's move on. Ugh. Oh, and that's quite a big Greenskins army there, actually. Headed for my territory. Of course it is. Oh, no. Alright, Carl Franz is coming for here, which is amazing, because Voltmar's here, so he's actually ganging up on them, and that's going to take out three stacks if they win. Did you win? Please tell me you won that. Oh, he attacked down one. Good. He's taken it. So there we go. That's huge. That is that is turning things around very quickly. That is brilliant. The Empire can start growing. Midland is doing alright, but yeah, the Empire, sorry, Reichland nowadays... Um, yeah, they 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 really need to turn things around, and that I think is actually a tipping point. That was a lot of vampire counts, like armies there, even though they were weakened. You know, that's a lot fewer armies running around, and probably a lot of dead characters. Oh, excellent! So it looks like the vampires and chaos are bickering. That's perfect. 
Okay, good. This is brilliant, actually. This is really good. This is actually going to put a lot of pressure onto, um... Oh, God, please go away. Look, can't you see we're busy? Can't you see we're busy here? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is disgusting. Ugh. But, yeah, that's looking great, though. That's looking really good that uh, Chaos are attacking the vampire uh, counts. I mean, yeah, I want Chaos to stop taking over the world. You know, destroying everything, but I also, we need the vampire counts to stop if uh, the Empire are actually going to grow their size. Because they need to start taking places, you know. They need to start getting a grasp on this, or it's just not going to work. Oh yeah, Fort Opestar. Good. Take it. Oh, don't just sack it and run off. Like, take territory. You need to take territory, guys. Like, really badly. They're not doing it. They're just going to sit there and take attrition. Jesus. Alright, all the Chaos Boys did nothing. Fine. Uh, suffering attrition, I'm well aware. Alright, where can you go? Can't reach the whole way, so that's fine. You, get in there so you can start, uh, hopefully, keeping this place under wraps. And, oh, oh, hey mate. <laughs> yeah, you need to get out of here. You need to not be around here. I don't want you taking this territory. Sorry, lad. But it's mine. Uh, right. Oh, can't quite reach. But then they won't be able to reach either. And oh, hello. Hello, billions of greenskins. Do you want to come fight me? Does Grimgore want to come fight me? How's Karagdron looking? Oh, actually a little bit weak. Ooh. But we're doing quite well at taking these guys out lately, so I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, also, let's get that leveled up to Longbeards. Lovely. And you can jump up here. Good. But yeah, you guys need to come get this, alright? While you can. Please. We should communicate that to him. Oh, oh, he's continuing to move. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. These guys are continuing to move, which means they're going to be attacking something else. Oh, my. Uh, hinder replenishment? Is that a good idea? God, I don't know. Also, I'm dying to go to the loo. So I'm going to do that, <laughs> and then I'll be back. So, um... Be right back. Alright, so, uh, this could be a problem, because, uh, yeah, this isn't a great garrison. It really isn't. Um, I think a lot of it we can deal with, because, you know, we've seen we can deal with these guys, their lack of armor piercing. Uh, we can do quite well, but the minor tools would be a real problem. We do have a cannon to help, but, I mean, it depends how many there are, because I really don't know what else is in this. But if it's mostly like Ungol Raiders or something, like maybe we'll be okay. But a little nervous about it. A little nervous about it. Might get another Lord. Well, I don't really want Logan to die here, but it would be pretty heroic, wouldn't it? Would be pretty heroic. God, what shall we do? I mean, psychology sounds useful, but these guys can't hit anything apparently. <laughs> As we've discovered. All right, maybe I will get Logan Stormbreaker. We'll have him try and hold. God, that would be so baller for him to come in and try and help like that. Hmm. He'll probably die, though. He'll probably die. But he's going to try and hold. Okay, there's at least a couple Minotaurs. But they can't hide, so the cannons will be able to get some good damage in. And this guy can come help, too. Excellent. And uh, local and global are all busy. <laughs> with this army trying to recruit all those miners. Of course. Of course. Right, so what's probably going to happen is I wouldn't be surprised if they started making some progress down here. Um, you know, either Chaos or the War Herd or possibly even Skaven. So, Grombrindle, once he's sacked this, is probably going to have to start heading north. He's probably going to have to start heading north because Thorgrim is already, like, too far off course, I think. So, we got problems. We got problems, guys. But I kind of love it. <laughs> so, let's get to Blade Shield. Cool. I like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're probably going to get attacked by Green Bull next, next uh, turn. That's okay. I think we can have him. Right. Oh, we've got a bunch of these too. Need to get rid of uh, Abskit, Vectic. 
Yeah, it's all Clan Mulder. It's all Clan Mulder. And I have a feeling it's all three of these. Yep. It's kill these three. So, we might be able to get all three of them in one go. If we could fight up Chaos and then them. By some miracle. Oh god, really? Is that not close enough to help out Grunberg? Ah, oh. Just, Reichland need to stop letting the, these vampires walk all over them. Just stop giving them an opening, you know? Okay, Barakvar are marching out at an angle that implies that they're listening to me and going for Averheim. I hope that's the case. Gotta get rid of these vampires. Honestly, like, chaos turning up is probably the best thing that's happened. Um, <laughs> happened for humanity in a while. Because it will help dislodge the uh, vampire counts. And if we can dislodge the vampire counts, then we're free to grow and, you know, build strength between chaos invasions. So, so long as I can fight them off. Ah, there they are, little shite. Okay. More settlements besieged. Rubbish. So these guys are just not attacking, as far as I can tell. We're going to be suffering attrition soon. So I think I might need to actually march out to kill these guys, but what with the hell cannon and everything else, I'm a little bit... A little bit concerned. Uh, Because, yeah, amazingly, no cannon. We have no cannon here, just the organ gun. So we will be outranged by the hell cannon, I think. Which means we won't be able to take it out before it can do work. Because if we had a cannon, we could just hit it a couple times and we're done. But yeah, 420 range against... Uh, there you go. La 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 la. I need 300. So, significantly higher range. Although, you know, if they're positioned at the front of the map, then it doesn't matter. Although, there's also the downside of if we attack with these guys, our garrison's going to come in as reinforcements, isn't it? Although, if I attack with the garrison, like as the garrison, will that do it? No, it still counts as just him attacking. Which is weird. And annoying. I don't like it. I mean, we can win it, apparently. It's going to be very close. I mean, I think we've got to. I just, I think we've got to. We need to do that so Skaven can attack us. I know. Seems odd, but we need Skaven to attack us. Because it'll reset the holdout time. Um, so this might do it. You know? This might be what we needed to do. To get them. Maybe. I don't know. It sucks, though. It sucks. Chaos Knights, the Chaos Chariots, like, there are problems here. But we do have a lot of Thunderers, you know? Thunderers can take out these guys very quickly. So, hmm. we got to do it. we got to do it. All right. Wow. What a scene for, for this. I've got to say, th this part of the map... It's got some really, like, striking lighting and things. Like, just... It's mad to think that these are all Warhammer 1 maps. Because when Warhammer 1 came out, it did not look this striking. Like, I'm sure it didn't. Just Warhammer 2 completely changed how lighting worked, and... It really pushed the boat out in a big way. Um, I mean, at first it was just really broken, <laughs> which was a shame. But then, it wasn't, and it was great. So, Hell Cannon's what need to go. I wish we had any rangers. If we had a single unit in rangers, I could just put it back here, and they could have just taken it out. Um, all stealthily. I got Slayers as well, which is cool. Alright, you guys move out that way. Got our long beards. Okay. And our miners. I'll bring them out too, they can be in the same line. Why the heck not? Okay, good. Thunderers. Quarrelers. Okay, you lot can all line up in the back. Alright, units getting stuck in pretty quickly here. Pretty quickly. Alright. Oh, this train sucks. This train's real bad. Yeah, this train's real bad. Oh, God. Not happy about this. 
Oh, we've got the Slayers as well. Slayers can head over here. You guys can head this way. You guys can head this way. Eyebreakers can hide behind. Alright. Oh, and here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, start shooting the Chaos Knights. You guys start pushing out this way. Iron Drakes can move out this way. Uh, everyone go on guard mode. Okay, good. And that went well. That went well. Okay, good. That's annoying. That is what it is. Uh, can you guys kill them, please? Okay, that's also a bother. Don't mind that much. Thunderers! Okay, trolls are going to get killed pretty quick, which I like. Uh, organ guns are doing brilliantly here. Love this. And the fire is going to help deal with the chaos spawn rather nicely. Which is always nice to see. Uh, thanks for hitting your own guys, that's great. Thunderers! And uh, they should get killed pretty quick. And that's going to hurt like hell. Really, can you seriously not shoot them? Like, they are definitely taller. They are definitely taller. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Moving back. More trolls over there. Okay, you shoot them. They're getting dealt with. Which is nice to see. Uh, these guys, I'm assuming... Oh, no, apparently we can still shoot them. Fine. Pete Gateguard struggling a bit. These guys having a fun time, though. You guys need to pull back, though. That's for sure. Alright, how are things looking? Not bad. Not bad. This is all a bit of a mess. Uh, that's all definitely a bit of a mess. Ooh. Okay, it's Chaos Knights definitely struggling. Okay, good. You guys, line up over there. No, no, not you. You guys, line up over there. That's all going fine. They're coming back in. Things are... Oh, guys. And that's a problem. Okay, come on. Mess them up. Thanks. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, dear. Alright, do you have better line of sight against them? Because that would be good. And... Oh, you're still alive. Jerks. Ugh. Come on. Come on, guys. Look, get a nice, get a nice line into this lot, yeah? Okay. Good. Dealing with them. Love it. Love that. Love that about you. Okay. Why don't I want you to shoot him? Let's shoot these guys. That'd be great. Okay, that's looking good. They're doing a fine job. And these guys are having a whale of a time. Love it. Love it. Alright, kill them. Guys, kill them. You guys, uh, turn around and shoot something. I don't know what. Something. Okay, they're getting wrecked. That's perfect. You guys just keep being shot. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. <laughs> nice. Very happy. Very happy with their performance. Uh, okay, Chaos Marauders. Been a bit of a pain. But it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Or is it? It is the end times. <laughs> so maybe it is the end of the world. Maybe it is. Lovely. So one thing that's very annoying is that these are actually um, uh, unbreakable. So I will have to kill them all. That is probably the most annoying thing about them, frankly. Okay, that was alright. Ish. I mean, hopefully, that's them stopped. Definitely lost a lot of men there, though. Definitely did. Definitely lost a lot of guys. And, yeah, everyone just run the heck away from those cannons, alright? Okay, good. Plenty of gunfire whittling them down. Which I like to see. 
Did we run out of slayers? Oh, no, we still got some slayers. They're over here. They're fast for a dwarf. So, looks like we might hit them in a second, which I like. You guys run off as well. Keep running. Shoot those marauders. All right. So, General's still in very good shape, which uh, is obviously a pain for me, but it's okay. So, you're in range now. Ah, good. That should destroy this hell cannon very fast. And then we don't have to fear it so much. That, and they won't have a hell cannon anymore, which is great. That is one good thing about them being unbreakable. But it's definitely a problem when you just want the match to end with as few casualties as possible. Come on. I'm actually amazed the artillery piece hasn't been destroyed yet. Alright, I can stop shooting. Get them, boys! And what are you shooting at? Oh, those iron breakers. They are as well. Little swine. Alright, how are things looking? Three of them left. Should be dead any second. And one left. Alright. So we destroyed Chaos. We lost basically all our miners. But even 12 of them is enough to man one of the uh, towers. So, you know. Okay, that's good news. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. But, there's a lot of Skaven inbound. I mean, like, a lot of Skaven. And that was with a lot of magic. And just them being able to spam warp lightning over and over and over again could be enough to completely cripple us. <laughs> you know? Because we need all of our Iron Breakers to stay alive until the very end. So I might even need to have these guys just stand in our flag, like, at the back, and just hold that, honestly. And hope they run out of Winds of Magic before these guys get into a fight. Ugh. Same with the Iron Drakes, honestly. Just have all of the, the st my stoutest boys hanging out in the back, trying to do as much damage with the guns as possible. The organ gun shooting down the, uh, like, through the gate would be wild as well, actually. But still, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. And I can't afford to lose the replenishment rate, even though I would like three grand. But, um, yeah. Get out of here, Kagan. Okay, these guys will probably attack me next time. Oh, <laughs> they're all running out of the way. You know, I think we can handle them. I reckon we can handle them. Just about. Just about. It would be nice to get these built, though. So, you know. It would be nice to get those miners first. If at all possible. But I doubt they're going to give me that much of a chance. Truth be told. So, uh, immune to psychology for everyone nearby. That is going to be ruddy handy when we've got a hell pit jumping on top of us. So, also, faction rate plus 10%. I like that. And untainted. All good. Now this guy. Oh. It's going to be close, apparently. That's quite a lot of, quite a lot of minor source. But if we can focus them down, then it's going to be tough for them to get through all of our armor. So, that's the priority. If we can get rid of those Minotaurs, which I think we can, then we may make it through this. We might make it through this. Alright. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Alright. So, you guys. God, look at this. Ugh. It's a lot. A lot of gores. Beastmen are real jerks. <laughs> They're the worst. Right, you guys go over here. Uh, you lot. Okay. Let's line up. Uh, I want the miners to be back a bit. Because uh, our enemies don't actually have much of the way of ranged. So, I can kind of loiter at the back rather nicely, which I like. Okay. Okay, guys. Hurry. Hurry up. Oh, my word. And with the centigors harassing us as well. Don't like it. Don't like it much at all. Yeah, you keep moving. Alright, let's get some good hits in those centigors, yeah? Show him who's boss. If you would. Miners! Plow through. Right. 
Okay, good, good. I like that. I like that. that was fun. You did did nice. You did good. You did good, kid. Okay, we'll start pounding those minosaurs. And you guys start oh I don't know. Hit what you like, honestly. It's all good. See? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, everyone focus on that one boy. That one pile of boys. Except there, obviously. Oh, good. We have the long beards. Perfect. So, yeah, you guys finish them off, please. Oh, yeah, also, let's get one guard mode. Good. Okay, mine has been a pain. Need to get into those guys as well. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, they're nearly gone. These guys are still going, though, which sucks. Okay, good. Them next. Okay, they shattered into them now. Oh, that's also a problem. Okay. Move up and around. My word. Gotta kill these Minosaurs. Gotta kill the Minosaurs. Ugh. Don't like it. Don't like it. Okay, those Ghoul Herd are just gonna stand there. Aren't they? Okay, that's fine. Please die. Come on. Okay, good. Them next. Okay, those long beards are about to go. And now these grudge throwers need to run. Oh god. Alright, how are you not looking? Keep everyone happy. If that's even remotely possible. At this point. Okay, that's good. They ran. I like that. Uh, that's it for the Minotaurs. So that's good. Shoot into there if you can. You know what? You guys can actually get that back. Oh, he's struggling now, isn't he? He's struggling. Okay, everyone should shoot into those gore herds, I reckon. That might help. You guys are doing alright. You're about to put some more armor on in a second. Uh, how many kills are you getting now? Really quite a few. And you lot, uh, ugh. Don't even know. Attack there. Okay, this is going pretty well. These guys are breaking. They are breaking. Although, my word, these guys. Okay, shoot these gore herd. Ah, shoot them, please. Thanks. Okay, these long beards survived. By some miracle. They're not doing so hot. You need to start shooting to them, I think. Hurry. Ah, crap. Right, come on, boys. Okay, they need to die already. Please kill them. Okay, good, they're dead. Good, good, good. And how are you lot doing? You're doing quite well, by the looks of it. Okay, there's still a pain, of course, but, uh... I mean, we're holding. We're holding. Kurgan Hammerfist. Okay, excellent. Shoot to them now, if you can. Okay, shoot to those Ungor herd. It'll slow them right down. Ugh. Ah, crap. Problems. Problems. Quarrelers. Okay, and you're a bit full. Ugh. Can we kill their lord? If we can, we may have a chance. And how are you doing? Not great. Uh, might be able to shoot there. Hard to tell. Come on. Come on. Please shoot. Are you still shooting? Maybe. <laughs> there you are. Nice. Okay, good. This is excellent. Kill that lord. Okay, if we can kill this beast lord, I think good things might happen. Oh god, they've broken in. Crap. And it looks like we're losing our cannon. That is a big, that is a big no-no. Don't like that one bit. Big, big no-no. 
Okay. Oh, come on, guys. We've got to kill that Beast Lord. If we can kill our Beast Lord, we can win. That simple. Okay, and you need to stop running. Stop running. Stop. Stop it. Stop it, Kurgan. Okay, come on. Beast Lord's nearly dead. Like, the balance of power is still holding. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Kurgan. Stop it. Come on, you can do this. Just don't run. Crap. Okay, Beastle's nearly dead, but it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like too many of our, yeah, most of our front line's gone. I'm not sure we can do it. I'm really not sure anymore. Yep, we've got nothing that can hold these guys back while we shoot them. So most of our DPS is gone. And this little sod survived. Ah, oh, so close, guys. So close. Although, still holding somehow. I do still have these long beards. Ah. Look at this jerk. Can you get to him? I'd like to deal with him. Oh, he's broken. Alright, come on, lads. And let's get you guys in the fight. I'm amazed these guys are still in there. Those quarrelers have been doing a great job. Alright, not bad. Not bad, but I don't think he can win somehow. Oh! Oh. You got some good shots in there, maybe? Oh no, he's about to go. Yeah, that'll be that then. Gutted. That was close. That was close. We did lose some of our boys there, though. Oh no, we are just about still in it. Please die. <laughs> He's doing alright. And um, looks like they might go. We'll get one more volley into him. Oh, uh, yeah, they're about to get chased off. They're about to get chased off. Okay, I'll charge him. And please win. You're not going to win, are you? Probably not. Although it looks like you're doing alright. Oh, wow. Okay, they broke. Oh, they broke. <laughs> Guys, you just beat them. Yeah. Oh, and he's shattered. He's doing well. He's doing well. He's doing well. Alright, come on, lad. Oh my word. Look at this. Wow. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would. I don't know what the AI is doing. I really don't. I really have no idea. Not a clue. Well, they are letting us kill him. Which is nice. Definitely nice of them. <laughs> we are hopping about like a madman. 140 kills now? Oh, I found that other guy hadn't ran off. Okay, so it looks like we're dealing with these guys. Uh, what? So he's exhausted, but if he recovers, that would be great. Huh. What is everyone doing? Like, what are these two units doing? That's very confusing. So how are you doing in there anyway, mate? You're gonna, you're gonna win this. I'd be very annoyed if you don't. How very odd. Alright, you just stand there. And recover. Still exhausted. Huh. Very tired. Good. Everyone else is still just sprinting, so... They're all going to remain exhausted, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. And we're still very tired. What are they doing? That's so weird. So they're all running still. He's running. Are they withdrawing? What is going on? Oh, he, they're coming back. Okay. They aren't, though. And... Okay, they're still running at us. I'm very confused. How are you guys doing? Tired now. Okay. 
And they're um, still exhausted. Yeah, just walk. I don't know what the AI is doing here. I really don't. I'm very confused. Are they trying to regroup? Is that it? I think they might be trying to regroup. In which case, I go for him first. Fine. Though he's still tired, but these guys are all exhausted. Oh, those Ungo Herd are still going. These Ungo Herd are still going. Alright, there's still quite a lot here. So, things could be a little, um... This might be a little tough. Alright, nice little charge there, and bang. Are we just going to break immediately? Probably. Oh, yeah, I can't see his leadership particularly well. Like, when I'm zoomed in close. And I need to be able to see his leadership. Because I need to know if I need to pop this. I guess I could just look at that, couldn't I? Whoa, need to pop that. Crap. Come on, guy. Oh, <laughs> when that runs out. And this runs dry. Oh, Silverhorn of Vengeance is charge bonus. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was the thing that gave him leadership. My bad. I think I was thinking that was Rally. It wasn't. It wasn't. There he goes. What a weird fight. Oh, well. All right, then. So we had a lot wiped out, sadly. And we didn't wipe out anything of theirs. So, um... Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, they had... They had double what we had, and, uh, it's... That's, um... Yeah, the gap is even bigger. Ugh. But we did almost kill their Minotaurs. So that's something. But we have no front line anymore. All our long beards got completely wiped out. Crap. Um... Come thing, is it worth attacking a second time? Might be. Might be. You know, if I can finish off the centigors and the minotaurs with the cannon. Then the rest. Might be able to just grind them down. Yeah, you know, I could easily kill the beast lord. Now. From a distance. But yeah, it's just a severe lack of any front line. Um, ugh. Time for a reckoning. I don't know. Oh, now I need to defeat him as well. That sucks. But hey, we got a lot of random stuff. Hooray! <laughs> More armor, maybe? Uh, vigor loss reduction? Lower? Can can you just get, like, all your health back? Is that a thing? <laughs> Could you do that, please? Um, probably not. Alright, let's do that then. Uh, and for you... God, these guys are probably going to be dead in a minute. I mean, none of these things matter, but obstinacy maybe? Full plate? But it's not a big change there, is it? Uh, leadership aura size might be nice. Yeah, let's go obstinacy. Alright, I'm going to try and attack again. Not likely. No. Oh, I can't. I can't attack a second time. That's weird. Would have thought I'd be able to. Huh. He has never really tried it before. Usually if you lose the first fight, then, you know, you're always going to be too injured. But I guess he'll probably attack me in a second. So, there is that. These guys still going, amazingly. God, that was, um, hectic. And now, we attack these boys, because it looks like Grimgore's running back to try and help. So, this is perfect. Um, who should we attack? Let's attack this Urk's, uh, uh, Gork's Chosen. Oh, <laughs> we could lightning strike it. That seems mean. Let's bring them all into the fray. Although, again, this seems mean. Um, there's not really a lot they can do. So let's just auto-resolve that, shall we? Yep, that looks about right. Cool. Uh, Release captives. That's almost no money. Almost nothing. So, good. We did that. Love that. That's my favourite. We've done, we've done the quest for the Cloak of Valaya, and now we get another one. Need to go to the Goromondi Mountains. Really? Jesus. Alright, fine. I guess Thorgrim will do that, eventually. Once he's done with everything else. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Huh. Do I want to raise it? And hope that Zufbar moves in. It would help them out. Quite a bit, I think. Hmm. I mean, look at this. T utter trash. Uh, do I just take this for myself? Do I just take this? It's probably the safest thing to do, just to take this, honestly. 
Oh, damn. That's cool. That's very cool. Wind blast. And huge bonus to armor piercing. Uh, wind blast, wind blast, wind blast. Wind blast. Yeah, what? There it is. So I got the Dragon Slayer's Axe. Don't need the bonus versus large of this guy. If I give him Wind Blast, I think I might be able to win this. Because that Wind Blast would just decimate any of these units. Any of these units would get basically wiped out by that. If he attacks me next turn, I think I can have him. <laughs> I think I might be able to do it because of that. I just wish that I'd attacked here first because I could have had that in that. Um, that battle we just did, and we could have won. Pretty easily, I reckon. Although it depends how off, how many times I can use that Wind Blast, I suppose. There is that, but... Eh. Let's see. Uh, that's not going to help us much. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Let's go with... Yeah, you know, I would like to get Lightning Strike for Thorgrim as well, actually. I would like to do that, too. So let's get uh, Pure Beard, because I do want Untainted up. And yeah, we haven't put up any of his things yet, but... I mean, that's why we have the, the Runesmiths and everything. Like, we can we can just make him stuff that's going to be useful. Speaking of which, let's give him this uh, Potion of Strength, so he can hit ruddy hard. Good. Good lad. Uh, right, character Omar. Oh. Bugman's Brewery, of course. Kind of need that, don't I? Definitely need to save up for that. Lovely. Gives us 100 kegs of beer as well. Ooh. And all armies get cheaper rangers. That's very nice. Okay, this this is awesome. Yep. I'm glad. I'm glad I took this. So, first off, we're going to need barley. Can't, can't have a brewery without barley fields. So, you know. Uh, also, we're going to have to stop taxing it, because I need it to remain slightly happy, at least, because I don't want it rebelling immediately, and making me regret all my life choices. Uh, also, speaking of rebelling, I mean, we want to get those, so we get the better gyros, and the extra campaign movement wrench for all armies, and all the rest of it, just because it's a cool thing to have, but we really need the Throne Hall of the High King, like in a big way. An extra 5% tax rate, faction-wide, and the extra 2 public order faction-wide are too big. Too big to pass up. Right. Also, you get a level up. Lovely. Uh, la 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 la. All right, melee attack now. Good. Good stuff. Okay. Let's attack that. Yep. And then we're gonna sack it. Good. Good. And then you can go there. Good. All right. And now, I'm going to tell these guys to attack the Black Iron Mine. Because next turn, I'm going to sack it again, and that'll be it. That'll be all those quests done. And I can start taking off quest battles. So, that'll be cool. But, god, all of this up here is just a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, so, what I could do, right, what I could do, guys, is end the turn. But, as soon as I end the turn, we're going to get attacked by, well, these guys for sure. These guys, you know, it, it's just going to be bad, basically. That's the long and short of it. It's just going to suck. So, I think we're going to wait till next uh, next episode for all that, so we can get stuck in. Um, it's going to be wild. It's going to be absolutely wild. And yeah, let's do that as well. Vallejo Sorrow. God, I can't believe it won two battles, Vallejo Sorrow. That was so good. Love Vallejo Sorrow. Oh, also, you can hop over to Nagashazar. So we'll take that next turn to Brilliant. And you get a level up. Uh, probably Pure Beard, right? Start getting that untainted here. Because he's just here to babysit, you know? We could even get uh, this as well. We get Mason as well, maybe. But it's quite boring, so I probably won't do that. I'll probably start going for runes anyway. But uh, yeah, cool. Cool. Making progress. Uh, speaking of, probably need barley fields here too. You can't untaint the land sober, you know, it's just a terrible idea. Right. Okay. And Vallejo Sorrow, we can upgrade more. What shall we get? We still don't have a Slayer Shrine. We still don't have a Slayer Shrine. 
It'd be weird to have one in um, Vallejo Sorrow, though. Because uh, Slayers aren't really um, associated with Vallejo. So that would be odd. What to do? I mean, more Rangers would be good. Yeah, I think Rangers are a good shout, actually. Because it's, it's on the frontier. Although that's very much a flavor decision, so maybe I shouldn't be spending so much money on just flavor. That might be a bit much. All right, we're, mm, we're not going to hang on to our money. We're going to build this. We need our income up. We need our income to go up, so we're going to build those. And I'm going to build the walls just so we never have to babysit Black Crag ever again. Brilliant. All right, so now we've done the admin. Um, we're taking plenty of territory, but... We're really struggling to hold this, but it's been exciting, that's for sure. It's definitely been exciting. But uh, also, Grom Brindle, once he sacked that and got that quest, and we could leave it, and hopefully Cazador Dragon Slayer can get it, and hopefully Grimgore will come and we can kill him too, he can start heading north, and he can come and help Thorgrim um, push north. God, I hope, I hope they can do it. I hope they can do it. Also, Stotchel is just in the middle of nowhere right now. I kind of hate that Stotchel is back here. I really want him to be somewhere useful, because I really like Stotchel. But, hey, we need to take that territory, so what can you do? I thought Eshin was there, so, you know, it is how it is. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, then please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.